just right clicks onto Mars and yeah. follows him everywhere. And they're an in <laughs> indestructible <laughs> unit. They can't be stopped. Level one, and you didn't get the first flood? Because the spear didn't have to be thrown, you know? That yeah. was a kill. <laughs> Yo, know, Mind Control just had to walk back to oh. lane because Dude, Weehaw gonna... really needs the courier, and Minwon's going to go for it, but he gets oh, stunned. He's going to get up late. Right a spear from Weehaw. That's my boy. It pulls him into the tower. It's the tower aura? You, yes. There's actually no way you're going to oh, die. Oh, is getting blocked right now by the centaur. Oh, He's the just getting out micro. This is just a beautiful opportunity, but oh, this micro is so good from Puffy, but he will manage to get the spear onto Yaps or a fast kill. Considering, like, if you if you would see, like, where the Alk would really be without the you know, like, gold bonus and all that. Oh, what a spear from uh, Weeha, even though it doesn't really change anything, because Kuro still dies, and Midwan's not actually going to fall in return. Oh, he might here. He's Maybe. thinking about popping the ulti. Is he, uh, yeah, I don't think he's close enough to be able to get that arena. He really wanted that one as mid lane. Meanwhile, mid lane dive. Miracle trying to get the kill onto Yapsor. Yapsor not left with any man. Actually had the last little stick charge. Hits him with the LSA. A beautiful play from Yapsor. He still dies, but it's enough to be able to get Nisha the kill on Miracle in return. Benefits your HP. Makes you crit for more. Also, it's hard to say. Like, Very cool. I want to win lace for my talent. Back, just trying to keep his back to mid one as best as possible. He does have GH behind him. GH. Is he going to be able to save him? Well, he doesn't have Sunray, so he has no heal. And with Fire Spear, still on cooldown for a second here. Mind Control running back into him. There's just nowhere he can hide. Although, I'm not really seeing... I mean, you were trying to get me to justify it, but I'm not quite seeing it yet. As the creeps block out for the bounty rune, and Puppy, is he going to die for this? No, the stun's going to get laid out. Weeha Still has this double damage on Weeha, but he just can't do enough. Long jump over to Nisha. They're going to try and blow him up. They do have the supernova immediately laid out. We are still managed to get the kill on a puppy. Nisha. Oh, trying to go right, up. Make him, sure that the egg still hits him with the stun. They wanted that alchemist dead. And they got him. But are they going to lose a fight as a result? Zai just kind of barely in kited. here. But he's taking so much damage, especially with the golem already out. Zai just going to die like that. The triple jump in from mid one. is going to be able to get the kill on a miracle. But now he's being chased out. He's already committed most of his remnants. He's not going to be able to get away as Weeha oh, shows up with his double damage good. still intact. This is just like a Monet Nisha thing. But so far, we've seen like the reactively. Let's get him just in case. He's not going to be able to get the stomp. They do have the sun ray into the spear. The arena goes out. Panisha's already inside of that arena and will be able to finish off Curl. They do actually have the egg on the side here. Mid one's going to try and deal with it as best as possible. The BKB activated by Nisha. Make sure that that egg does die. Side in the trees trying to get away from Miracle. They hit the heels into the LSA. He's still alive. off the mid and he's going to stay alive through all of this one. Mind control. The last alive from Team Liquid. But a very, very healthy secret will run him down an ultra kill for Nisha. And this is exactly what it feels like to play against an Alchemist right now. Because they're just going to keep pushing. They're going to force Liquid back right now, not allow them the time to get that tier two. Carlos oh, is pretty trouble, significant. Though. Mid one. They need his rock. They definitely need his rock to be able to defend. Oftentimes, it's like Mars has like... They made it find the it. opening into the spear, the pullback spear combo. Is that going to be enough stuns? It, uh, it's not, it's not. He managed to get the slight jump over the high ground, the stun onto Miracle. They do manage to get a successful egg explosion, but when you don't have any damage to back it up, what does it matter? KB, and on top of all of that, he's got a second life as well. So he's just going to go for it. Keep moving. Oh, Zai, a stomp out onto Kuro. Not going to be saved in time, if anything, this is the death of Weeha as well. Mind Control tries to approach, needed to get school scepter up. Now they dove in pretty deep, and that's where Miracle's hoping to be able to take advantage of, but Miracle just getting locked damage. down immediately. Nisha holding on to the stun a little bit longer, throws it after the Warlock, while Midwatch chases down GH, who has a buyback, but what's the point, honestly, when your Storm Spirit has no buyback? In this Storm Spirit, I mean, he just does no damage when yes. he steps in. They can try and go for the bristle back here. I say try, but honestly, they make it look real easily. There is no try, there is just do. And the AC uh, is out. Double damage on mid one. Jump in, finish off Kuro. Jump away if you need to. Honestly, he doesn't need to because the Chen heal is going to make him nice and healthy. And GH is got to try and get over to the side here. The Supernova, he could pop at any time, but he doesn't want to use it in that sort of situation. So instead, he just dies to the slight of mid one. 
looking like it's just going to be two lanes of barracks. And if they're not careful, they're just going to bleed away more and more kills. The Sunray not doing enough to be able to heal up Weeha, and it's just tickling Nasha. Chains. Ain't to stop from Zai. The chain stunts just keep on coming on a miracle. And this is a supernova that's going to get hoisted by Nisha, who's going to ignore that hero and throw the concoction over to the Bristleback to make sure that they wipe Team Liquid. Team Secret establishing dominance here over Liquid in game one. This was a pace that they set. Oh, ah, and the last pick, Meepo. But Team Secret had the final pick. See how it goes, though. Mid lane matchup definitely uh, being won by the Meepo, but my control with the Heavenly Grace, the disruption doesn't last for long. He does have purification. It's only level one, though, and that is going to be your first blood. Nisha gets the first permanent stack. Okay. No, it was, uh, it was like the, what was the classic combo before Tusk God tag team was the. Uh... Oh, oh, Echo Man. Slam, is that going to be enough? They have the disruption to be able to stop him. He tries to go for another coup. They disrupt, Enchant Totem, swing. Weeha's dead. Yo, this is a really good Meepo game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Crow's like, okay, that makes sense. You're the Meepo player. And Crow all of a sudden is stuck playing five putt. Orb gonna come in. Let me just a lot say, of stats being racked up on Isha though. This is a uh, this is one of those fights that's gonna snowball against you, but the rupture. Oh. Nice rotation from Miracle, right? As Nisha felt like he was getting strong enough to be able to fight back. He runs into another hero. He runs into his counter, which is the Blood Seeker. And now the Ogre is gonna be run down as well. It's a nice long range. Ice shards from GH collects that kill. Yapsor will be able to skinny on through here this area. And Midwan is actually here out. It's gonna be able to get a nice Fisher. Beautifully done by Midwan. Oh, there's actually a little bit of gap though. You didn't Mind see control. It. He's able to, he's a skinny little paladin. That's <laughs> you know, if this was Weeha's idea. Oh, they do have Midwan here. They're gonna try and go for the Echo Slam, but there's the Snowball to be able to buy Miracle. A little bit of time, Nisha still ruptured up though. Ice oh, Shards nice going ice down. Shards. Right as Miracle thought he was gonna go for that kill on Nisha. They pop the Shatter Dance, they're going to try and get in position to hit him with that blood right, and they will be able to get the south on Anisha and finish him off. Miracle runs away from mid one. That's the Echo Slam uh, used, and they still manage to get the kill on the Slark. A big win there for Team Liquid. Big team fights are scary for him, especially with some of these counters. One of those counters is going to be found here. Miracle, always susceptible to the big burst damage. That's one of the big problems with the Blood Seeker, but he's going to be bailed out by GH here as they do manage to get the big punch on his eyes, slowing him down enough to Miracle. Gets away. Now the Ice Shards block in. Beautiful set there from GH. Unfortunately, there's no backup for him. And that, with Puppy showing up, is just going to be able to get the kill. But that does mean a heavy rotation is going to be needed if Secret want to be able to bail out this mid tower. Mid one trying to get close enough for the Echo Slam. They do a nice job of being able to get some of these nets. Not committing too many Meepos. No, nice silence. With the silence trying to finish off mid one. He still has that Echo Slam. Holds it. Now lays it in. The third Meepo shows up. Weeha dies, and they'll get the deny. Long time, but when you go for it, if they're not strong enough to defend tier one, they're not going to defend tier two. Mid one is going to be saved by the Stampede. There is the Soul Catcher bringing all these Weeha's low, but it's your plate. Now the Dream Call locked onto three. They're going to try and bail him out, but the silence coming out from the Shatter Demon, stopping any disruptions. Nisha with the Shatter Dance only has so much time. They do manage to get the Stomp on Miracle before the Rupture goes out. Now it gets multicasted by Puppy as well. Fortunately, there's always that sustain of mind control to be able to allow Miracle to fearlessly move forward. They kill the captain of Team Secret, and now looking for that tier one off lane tower. But Secret are not budging here. They're still going to try and fight around this area. As they kind of reset things, slow down the push of Liquid. Got only 10 seconds till the Ogre's back. Might just be able to find the Tusk here as he tries to go for the rune, but gets blocked out by Midwine. The Tusk here as he tries to go for the rune, but gets blocked out by Midwine into the stomp of Zai. Just a nice little chain stun from Secret that finds a pick. Still not losing their towers yet. This bottom area. Mikey pounced on, managed to get the silence. The rupture thrown out as well. An offensive oh, orb there Curl from went Curl. He's going to be able to jump in, but mid one. Oh, this is an excellent Echo Slam opportunity to finish off the Blood Seeker. They thought they were going to pop him, but mid one was too tangy with his bracers build. And now with that Blood Seeker gone and Weeha down to half health, it's just clean up time. They're going to be able to get the Omni Knight looking for more. They're going to spot Kuro here, managed to get the pounce onto him. Disruption to prevent him from jumping to the orb as well. And now he's just flat out of mana. Nisha 
is able to be a part of another important kill. I click build. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I imagine they play, both those guys play much more Meepo than I am. Ever. So, I'm not really well, that trying only, to... That only takes one game, so... Yeah. I, I'm not trying to doubt it. Miracle gets picked off. That's a nasty kill. Team Secret do lose Zai, but... I mean, I mean, like a centaur dying is... He's able to recover from that. Bloodseeker, I just feel like, is one of those heroes that you need a two or three deaths and, and you're never going to be the same in he the game. some mid-game fighting kill, too. Nice chain stun. He's able to pick up Kuro, allowing him to, to live, but he doesn't make it over the cliff, and he gets st stunned by mid -line. You're purist of the he's game. He's a great four. He's a great three. He's a great two. How could you not pick him every game? Let's go. The smoke up from Team Secret. They're going to run into a great pick, and Weeha Meepo in Oh, this Soul Catcher, man. It looks so good. It makes this burst damage look incredible. If you just bring someone down to half health, and then you're just able to finish the job so easily. Now they've caught Miracle as well. Oh. And now they've gotten another one. Face Jin's going to be able to dodge some. Can he get the worm out now? He's just one of the core heroes. Literally can't buy one. Okay, here we go. GH is bought They're back. They're going to buy that, but Weeha trying to go in. They do have the Heavenly Grace onto him, as well as the heal coming out for Mind Control. So that one Meepo is going to be able to retreat. But Curl, the coil is there, yes, but they can't actually force Secret to do anything there. They hold him there, but it doesn't result in anything. And Mind Control, who is so heavily committed to saving Weeha, gets that one Meepo out, but he can't save himself. So he pretty much has to hit his timing. Oh. Be dominant. Arrow. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, this Soul Catcher with her Shaker looks so sick nasty. This game, because they are up 11,000 gold, it'd be a pretty big... The Fisher landing on a Miracle. He's going to pop his BKB, trying to go for the Blood right, but they're disengaging really well. All these heroes are pretty healthy. Miracle's just not getting enough damage in right now against an Ogre, while his teammates are falling left and right. And now Miracle's done. I haven't done enough damage to get a kill. There is no heal opportunity. As the BKB wears out, he is dead, and what a Fisher from mid one. He's been hitting some sick, nasty ones at this point. He's playing his own supporter, Shaker, like... Yeah, and we are... Okay, oh, they can't even kill Puffy. kind of diving in. Do I want me on? He's going to be able to save here. They do have the Snowball as well, potentially to be able to pick him back up in mid one with his BKB. They'll just focus on the other Meepo. Take GH last, finish it up with Kuro. This is looking like a repeat of game one, and it is a victory in under 30 minutes by Team Secret.